Kristen and Shifting Roots, and in this video, we are going to take a look at these dollar store ranunculus and see, do they actually work? I almost forgot. If you live in a short season with a cold growing climate here, I think I need to love a baby, then hit the like and subscribe button so you won't miss a single thing. On Instagram and Facebook, I share exactly what I'm doing in the garden in real time. So if you have a similar timeline to me in zone three, make sure that you follow me there. Huge shout out to my friend Chantelle at City Girl Flower Farm. She told me that she found some of these really cheap ranunculus. They're only five corms for a dollar twenty-five out in our local Dollar Tree. So I drove over there as quick as I could, scooped up what I needed and brought them back here. And so now in this video, I thought, let's see, do these dollar store corms actually work? Or are they just kind of a bunch of junk? Now, of course, you're gonna get what you pay for, right? I am not expecting these to be as good as my regular ranunculus corms that I purchase from like reputable companies, but you know what, for that price, I'm gonna see if it happens. So this video is part how to grow ranunculus and also to see if the stuff you get at the dollar store is actually worth your time and money. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm just gonna take one of these packages. You can see right there what it is. Open it up. So these corms are pretty tiny. They're a lot smaller than what I'm used to getting for other growers and I'm gonna soak them for a couple of hours. This part here, these are the roots that are gonna go down, and then this part is gonna go up when I put them in their containers. So one of the key steps that I missed the first year I grew my ranunculus is that I didn't know you needed to soak it in water. So you're just gonna plop these corms in water and they're gonna soak there for a minimum of six hours and all the way up to 24 hours. Don't let them go any longer than 24 hours. I made this mistake last year and I actually lost a lot of my corms that way. They just rotted out. So with these ones, it's currently almost 3 p.m. and I'm gonna let them go overnight and I will deal with them tomorrow morning at nine in the morning when all the children have left the house. <laughs> Okay, so our corms are all soaking in the water and I will see you in the morning and show you what they look like. Good morning, friends. And we are back and the ranunculus is perfect. Let's take a look. It's our nicely soaked. The corms have really plumped up. I'm gonna put this side-by-side -side comparison of what the corms looked like before we put them in and what they look like now. These are perfect and ready to go in. The root side is where the little pointy guys are, so we're gonna put them down. And then this is the top side here where our flowers are gonna poke out of. So I'm planting mine in a crate like this, which I'm just gonna line with a garbage bag. And then I have potting soil. Potting soil right here, almost at the end of it that I'm gonna plop in. I don't use anything special. You can use whatever you like for soil. Some people have specific mixes that work for them really well. I just haven't found what mine is. And frankly, with the two little babies lurking about, um, I'm just going for whatever is easy, quick, and I know will actually work for me. So let's get this stuff potted up. Okay, so here is our large crate. We're just gonna take this plastic bag. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to keep our water from spilling everywhere when we're watering it indoors. So 
So on second thought, I decided that just propping it up wasn't working very well. So I got out these binder clips and I'll put one on each side and that'll just help keep things in place and make my job a lot easier. So next we're gonna put our soil in. Whoa. As I said before, this is just simple potting soil, nothing special to it. So now we're just gonna smooth this out. So I can tell by the shadows, if I look around here, I've got about three, four inches of depth. These are pretty tiny corms, so that's enough soil. And I'm also gonna be putting a little bit on top, so it'll be good. All right, I've got my corm. The root side is down, these little pointy bits. This part is up, that's where the flower is gonna come out of. I just dig a little hole, plop my corm in, and then I like to not cover them until the end so I know what my spacing is. These guys don't need a lot of space in between them. They're pretty little. I learned that last year I gave my corms each about six inches of space and they definitely did not need it. I could have went much closer together. All of the corms are in there. Now it's time to put a little bit more soil over them and then set them under the lights and we're done. Then we wait and see how long it takes them to sprout up. I'm just gonna trim these little ends so they don't get in the way all the time and we're good to go. That scissor was pretty awful. Let's try again. There we go. So thankfully I kept track of everything in last year's garden planner and I know from both my garden planner and from going through my pictures that if I've done everything right in about nine days, I'll be seeing you again and we should have our first ranunculus sprouted. If you need a garden planner to help you out, I sell this one for only $9. It's a printable, downloadable thing. You can buy it once and print it every single year to your heart's content. I'll just leave a link in the description. And if you're also new to cut flowers, make sure you grab a copy of my ebook, Cut Flowers Made Simple. It's probably one of the most inexpensive and easiest ways out there to get started to cut flowers and just have it in simple language, very visual, and I've had lots of successful students get into the world of cut flowers because of it. All right, we'll see you hopefully in nine days. Hey there, it's now March 15th, quick update on those dollar store ranunculus. So our first ranunculus has finally poked through the soil. Unfortunately, it's the only one, but I'm not too concerned yet. I know that if that first one is poked up, then certainly there's gonna be more to follow or at least I hope. So I think I'm not gonna quite finish off this video yet and I will wait a few more days, a week or two, or whatever it takes, and then I will come back and report and then we'll end this video. Hey friends, today is March 25th and I just wanted to do a super quick update about that dollar store ranunculus. So unfortunately I have left it and left it hoping and hoping that a few more of those ranunculus babies would sprout out. And out of 50 corms, count them 50, I had two, exactly two, sprout up and they look beautiful. They look exactly like a ranunculus shit at this point, but two out of 50 is super terrible germination. So I definitely do not recommend dollar store ranunculus. I'm looking really forward to getting my good quality stuff. Um, the lady who I'm getting it from has just received her shipment. So hopefully it'll be out here in a couple of weeks and I can get started again. 
with ranunculus. Oh well, what do you do? If you also live in a cold climate like I do, I really encourage you to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Also, every single day I show up on Instagram and Facebook showing you exactly what I'm doing in real time in my garden. So if you're also with that short growing season cold climate, be sure to follow me there. So I guess the moral of the story today is you get what you pay for. So support your local flower sellers and flower growers and stay out of the dollar stores, friends, at least for your corms. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And they're gonna, s oh my gosh. He's like, mom. <laughs> this is going in the outtakes.